LeBron James say courtside Karen was mad, mad, bro. Mad, mad. Like, you know, mad, 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 super mad. <laughs> it's your favorite local, especially after I just spoke. Support the real, get rid of the fake, the F you to the industry. How do you do that, man? Just support. Subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at C E D D Y N A S H. One word I do follow back, like pictures and all that. Seti Nash, what's up with the visionaries? Of course, I care with the ladybug. <laughs> Eyelashes. I was about to say something else. Who thirst trap pictures look like a chicken McNugget. Or McNugget or whatever y'all want to call it. Whose husband looks like one of the extras that played the janitor in The Sopranos. His, his suit nice. She got to call in LeBron all type of B-words. Allegedly, she told him that he was a B-word, and he told her she was a B-word, and all that. She had the wine going. She had them ugly teeth. Her eyes look like she on every drug known to mankind. And this is what we deal with. Let me ask y'all a question. Whenever y'all see the courtside seats, and y'all see the people going crazy, why they always white? Like, I'm not trying to make it a race thing. I'm just curious. Y'all paid all this money to go here, and you want to piss off LeBron. Why don't you try to piss off, like, Anthony Davis or somebody else? Somebody whack on the team. If you piss off Caruso, he probably going to jump from the free throw line and bang on y'all. <laughs> Y'all could have tried to piss off somebody else, bro. Don't piss off LeBron. Look, I know she look weird. She say, why are you talking to a 25-year-old like that? And dude is her husband. You know she in it for the goddamn green card. She better check that will because I guarantee you she ain't in it. <laughs> but anyways, bro, I, I'm going to give you a quick story time. I'm just having fun with this. Honestly, I, I really don't care about it. I'll give her 15 seconds of fame. Shout out to you for taking your mask off. Hopefully you didn't catch no COVID or nothing like that. Or chlamydia or whatever. I don't know. Quick story time, bro. When LeBron played for the Heat, I had seats that were like, not courtside, but like three rows from courtside. I got a loud voice when I yell. Super loud. They call it a lion's roar. I used to play linebacker. You got to yell. So... <laughs> LeBron come down the court. Now, I ain't calling LeBron out his name. But I'm like, boo, you going to miss. Boo, you about to miss. LeBron pull up a three. Make the three-pointer, bro. I BS you not on dead homies. Look me dead in my face. And I swear to you, I just did like this. Oh. Oh, that man just, that man just punked me right now, bro. Ain't nothing I can do. I can't get on the court and go play. Y'all leave LeBron alone, bro. Just be be glad that during the pandemic that you're actually able to go witness live sports. They said only they letting they really said twelve hundred, but they had thirteen hundred people in there. Be thankful for that. That you get live entertainment, man. I get it, you had the wine and you feel entitled. You look funny as hell. You look like the Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Boy, I was about to go in all the way. But be thankful, man. Y'all get to sip y'all wine, sit courtside and all that and everything. Yeah, okay, be a Hawks fan. Come on, let's be real. The Hawks ain't going to... The only team that's ever going to win anything championship-wise in Atlanta will be the Bulldogs. It ain't going to be the Braves. It damn sure ain't going to be the Falcons. Not why y'all got Matt Ryan there. He part of the problem. It wasn't just Dan Quinn, by the way. That should have let go of Matt Ryan, but that's a whole nother rant. Be blessed, y'all. Expect me to keep it real. You know that I will. Do this daily, baby.